let's learn how to do the cable cast on. This method I use to add extra stitches while you're knitting. Sometimes I do it at the beginning of a row, and sometimes I do it in the middle of a round, like for the underarms of sleeves. So let's take an up-close look at how to do the cable cast on and how to apply it to your knits. When you cable cast on at the beginning of a row, look at the right side of your fabric, insert the right needle tip in between the first two stitches. So here's the two stitches, and don't go into a stitch. Go in between them, in the gap between the stitches. Wrap the yarn around and pull it through, and place it onto the left needle tip like that. And do that again. So that was one cast on stitch. Now go in between these two, not into the stitch, but in this gap. There's this little, there we go, in this gap between the two. And place it on the left needle and keep on going for as many stitches as you need to cast on. I use this technique sometimes for some garments or some shawls and it's happening at the beginning of a row. So if it happens at the beginning of the row, whether it's the right side or the wrong side, then you're, if it says right side, cable cast on 12 stitches, then look at the right side, cast on 12 at the beginning. If it says on the wrong side, like row two, cast on 10 stitches using the cable cast on method, look at the wrong side and dive in, wrap the yarn around and look at that side of the fabric. But let's do that for you English style knitters. Insert the right needle tip in between the stitches and pop it on there. In between the two stitches, wrap the yarn around and place it on the left needle. So that's how you cable cast on at the beginning. For sweaters, it's a bit differently because it's in the round and I use the cable cast on most frequently for the underarm stitches. So you're gonna find this in a lot of my sweaters like the Dustlin sweater, the Basket Weaver sweater. So let's say we're in the middle of our round or we're in the process of knitting our sweater in the round. And this usually happens when you place the sleeve stitches onto a waist yarn or a spare circular needle. So it says place some stitches onto a spare needle and you're in the middle or you're working your round and you have to cable cast on 12 stitches, let's say. So whenever you're working in the round and you're still going in the round, you got to cast on 12 stitches, you have to turn to the wrong side. So I'm not finished with my round, but I'm looking at the wrong side now, cast on 12. That number is what I use most often for most of my sweaters. It might be 10 or it might be 14, but follow the pattern when it says cable cast on. If you're doing it for the sweater and you're setting those sleeve stitches aside, you're doing this. Let me show that again. I'm looking at the wrong side, the inside of my sweater. So insert the right needle tip between the stitches, wrap the yarn around, pull it through, place it on the left needle. Now you go in between these two stitches and you just keep on doing that until you have the recommended number of stitches cast on. Really easy. I'm gonna do this 12 times and this will become the underarm of my sleeve for knitting in the round. It's the same technique, but just remember that if you're working in the round, you have to turn to the wrong side to do this cable cast on. And then when you're done doing the cable cast on, turn to the right side. And you're ready to keep on knitting. So I'll get the number of stitches recommended. And then sometimes now my patterns say to place stitches onto waist yarn for the sleeve and then keep knitting. So whenever you do what you need to do, but whenever you have your stitches cast on, you're turned back to the right side and then when it says to knit so many stitches or to keep on knitting to the end of the round, you just keep on going. So you have these extra stitches cast on. And for my sweaters, what that location looks like is right down here, right here. So I was knitting my stitches in my yoke and then I placed all of my sleeve stitches onto waist yarn for later. 
and then I needed some space under my arm, so I cast on some stitches right there, and then I kept on going with my other stitches. So that cable cast on helped bridge the gap from here to here. Let's look at that on the basket weaver sweater. I did the same thing. So I was knitting my yoke of the basket weaver sweater, and then right here, I placed a bunch of stitches onto waist yarn for my sleeve, and I did that cable cast on from here to here. So I had to turn to look at the wrong side to cast on, turn back to look at the right side, and then keep on knitting the stitches. So that's the cable cast on method. Well, that was pretty easy. You can just add stitches anywhere in your project at the beginning of your row or in the middle of your round for those underarms of the sleeves. So now you can have these beautiful dustlin sweaters. And I just love that cable cast on because it's quick to do. It's not too stretchy. It's not too firm. It's just the perfect uh, addition to add stitches. And you can make the basket weaver sweater with that same cable cast on underarm. So I'll give some of these sweaters a try. I'll link my patterns down below so you can download your favorite West Knits pattern and try these techniques and apply them as you're knitting your project. And if you like these tutorials, there's a lot more techniques and tips and tricks on my website. I have a whole series of West Knits workshops. So you can sign up for those at westknits.com and learn how to do brioche knitting or design your own shawl or knit my penguono jacket. So all these you can watch at your own pace as many times as you want. They're really, really fun. So I hope you'll check out those workshops and there's a lot of other fun tutorials here on YouTube. So I hope to see you in the next video.